Let's go and um, make our system even nicer. So we have already a lot of things. We can change this bar under here. First off, the text has been changed in tutorial one. So preferences, we've changed this line, but we were not able to change the icon because the icon was not downloaded yet. So with Ctrl H, you will find there is a folder dot icons, Sardi, scalable, and then places all the way down and then you go up again start here ubuntu symbolic solace budgie mate we have here a mate a mate dark and a simple mate let's see what this mate look like i think this is a white one and now we have this sign here a little icon to show you we are definitely on a mate system and all the rest is um, already discussed in another tutorial, the first one. But we can also change the panel. So we go to the properties of the panel. Auto height is a solution you can maybe want. Let's like this then. And it will go up. I have to watch out for my virtual box that pops up, ups, pops up on my, as well. <laughs> Tongue twister. And then. Um, orientation button now the size i would like to suggest this one why not make a transparent one let's take another wallpaper something light don't have that many <laughs> light as you can see <laughs> it's lighter so this is transparent as you can see but you can choose also another color and see how that looks so a black that's gone transparent or completely transparent so some trans some uh, degree of blackness should remain i think and then we have this kind of look you might like it you might hate it it's a possibility you can do it so now we've changed this uh, line over here but there is some other other stuff so let's keep at it we can for instance tell them that we are located in a different place so we can edit the location and add the weather and celsius which is good and kilometers per hour is for me better and location 24 through seconds show temperature it doesn't know where we are so i'm gonna tell them look the nearest country is a city is the antwerp here so okay close and and we know now it's three celsius feels like zero <laughs> and the sunset and the sunrise okay so with a little bit more information just one uh, simple extra element preferences we can add we have a sound output like this like so with the sound preferences the network applets our updater which we can actually quit and change again and then you'll see that he was using the old icon and I want him to use the Sardi icon and this is a Sardi icon this looks for me way better the standard Dropbox is nice so I keep it so I don't have a specific Dropbox icon that looks great in the collection here what else right mouse click add to panel and now it's up to you to explore any of these and think oh well, I'm working on an applet on a uh, laptop so I might need a brightness applet or a battery charge monitor so I'm working on a desktop no need for that you want the clock CPU frequency scaling monitor you can put your frequency of your CPU a bit higher or you can do it on demand stuff like that eyes very stupid fish very stupid do check it out and of course quit might be interesting if you have applications that are hanging that they say you're trying to program something and well program sometimes uh, misbehaves then you do force quits you add it here to the toolbar and you can kill it so it's actually an x kill to kill an application hardware sensors for temperature fan speed and so on lock screen and log out but we have this here and this is maybe interesting if we're gonna talk about these menus uh, because we have two different menus actually three menus and this is the main mate menu we're looking at 
and the menu bar we can customize uh, sorry no this I think this one is called the mint menu advanced menu and this is the main menu from Nate so it's a bit different and the network monitor net speeds you can add that and then you know how, how fast you're downloading and uploading you have to move it again over here and now we've added it we can also lock it so nobody can move it away whatever happens it's locked there and so on and so on okay so see what's uh, available uh, this window list maybe I've, I've made an, uh, an error in the tutorial that I've deleted by accident uh, this one window list so this is the window list so you get a list of everything that's uh, at the moment active so just add it again to the panel and you'll see it again all right that uh, concludes this panel story we've uh, changed some of the items and you can find out more here